let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Hallow Gospel according to St. Luke. Tax collectors and sinners were all running near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them, he addressed this parable, What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until it finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it his, on his shoulders with great joy, and upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, and say to them, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman having ten coins and losing one would let light a lamp and swept the house searching carefully until it finds it. And when she does not find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found the coin I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Often times, we tend to foresee little things in life. We always want to be the bigger picture where everyone can see and get a hold of. But as it stated from the gospel we have just listened to, we should always seek to look the simple things. As we often do here, we can never make a big difference without starting to begin with little things. And slowly but surely, we should patiently create our fortune from the little things we have here then. As we achieve things in progress, it will be greatly treasured. No million will be worth in the absence of one. Prayers of the Faithful The Lord tender love and concern for those who get lost in the marshes of sin is for us an encouragement to approach Him with full confidence. Let us pray for the needs of all mankind and our own as we say. Caring Shepherd, hear us. For the Church, the universal sacrament of God's merciful love, may she constantly seek the conversion of sinners and lead them back to God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring Shepherd, hear us. For the Holy Father, and all spiritual leaders, may they ever more inspire us to be merciful and compassionate to all. Caring Shepherd, hear us. For parents, teachers, and others who are responsible for young people, may they never lose hope when the young go astray, but rather seek their salvation through patient dialogue and sincere understanding. Let us pray. To the Lord. Caring Shepherd, hear us. For our catechists, religion teachers, and all those involved in teaching the Catholic faith, to our youth and children, may all their sacrifices be fruitful. May enjoy the support of the whole community. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring Shepherd, hear us. For all grandparents, 
May they impart wisdom and unconditional love for their children as they enjoy their respect and care-filled concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring Shepherd, hear us. For all of us, may we be become ever more community that cares for all the members, especially those who have gone astray, and rejoices their coming back to the home of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring Shepherd, hear us. Lord, we thank you for our boundless love and patience with, with us whenever we go astray. Keep us eager to, co to cooperate with you in bringing about the conversion of others who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ang mga tao 
Oh, oh, oh.